Hey guys, today I'll be showing off the latest AOSP Nougat build running on my Nexus 5. Android Nougat is the latest Android version and was released last week. The Nexus 5 didn't get the official update which is kinda sad knowing a lot of people around the world still use this piece. We did get an AOSP build the very next day and to everyone's surprise it's quite stable. So here it is Android Nougat or Android 7.0 running on my Nexus 5. Let me just show you in settings that I'm indeed running Nougat. This build doesn't contain that many features. It's a very basic build with limited features but I'm still very happy with it. Of course we'd be getting those super customizable ROMs in a couple of months. Let me start with multi-window. It's one of the most exciting features of Nougat and certainly the one we really need. You can see that the multi-window works smoothly. Some apps might give you FC so wait for them to be updated. Along with the multi-window there's another great thing that Google has added in Android this time. Double press recent button to go to previous apps so in this way you can quickly move between your last two used apps. This is a great feature for quicker multitasking. Next is the System UI Tuner. To enable System UI Tuner, hold the Settings icon from the Notification panel. You can see that the Settings icon starts rotating. Remove your finger and you have System UI Tuner enabled. Go to Settings and scroll down to System UI Tuner. The first option is the status bar. You can choose to display whichever icons you would like to. Scroll down and you will see battery percentage icon. Very useful but hard to see. I hope Google adds an option to add it next to the battery icon. Also we have the time option. You can now have it to show seconds too. This is really cool. Next is color and appearance. You have your night mode here. Calibrate display. You don't want to mess around with it unless you know what you're doing. Moving on, we have do not disturb. Enable show with volume controls and now I do not disturb directly from my volume panel so that's pretty helpful next is navigation bar this is a secret move my google which was discovered by someone i'm really liking where google is taking android they are adding really useful customization options you can customize your navigation bar. You can add buttons which is really nice. Just press save and you will be good to go. Last option is others. You can enable the gesture if you'd like to. 
It just adds a simple swipe up gesture on your recent button. You can swipe up and you will directly enter the split screen setup. Power notification controls give you more control over your notifications. As you can see there are five levels and each level is based on priority. Once you enable this option you can set notification priorities differently for different apps. Let me give you an example. When you go into apps, you will see notifications tab. When you open it, you will see get the option to change the priority by just sliding. You do have couple of settings which you can play around with in display. Okay. You have ambient display and double tap status bar to sleep. Also you have the new font size and display size options which are really cool. I forgot to tell you guys about the clear all button. Thank you so much Google for listening to us and finally adding the clear all button. Also you have your quick reply working flawlessly on this build. I think it was introduced in iOS 8 and since then I really wanted it. And I'm so happy that Google added it. It's really amazing. There are rumors that Google is gonna add quick reply from lock screen. That will be very helpful Google. Please add it in the next update. Google also introduced Vulkan API and Nougat for better gaming and performance. Unfortunately we don't have them working right now on my Nexus 5 as Qualcomm refused to support 800 and 801 chips. Most probably we will never get it. Also those doesn't work on this build, so I would recommend you guys to use third party apps to get those. You can customize your quick settings by pressing the edit button and then dragging the options around. Last but not the least, we can control notifications from status bar itself. You can hold on to a notification and you get the options to block notifications.
Overall, this is a fantastic build. It's very smooth and quite stable. I haven't had random reboots or crashes. I would recommend you guys to flash it to just taste the new Android. The battery life even without those has been better for me. Better than Marshmallow. There's Code Blue Kernel which has been updated to support Nougat. So you guys can flash that custom kernel and get more out of this build. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Do press the thanks button if you like the video and you can always share your issues and I'll try solving them. If there's some feature that I'm missing, you can point out and maybe I can make another small video on it. I'll be closing off. Until next time. Long live the Nexus 5.